Hello everyone, welcome to my craft room. I'm Leo from InkyMemories.co.uk, an independent stamping up demonstrator based in South Wales. And today I have a really quick video for you. Um, I recently had a new order arrive. I placed it this Monday and it arrived yesterday on Thursday. Nice quick turnaround. And this was an order that I placed both from the annual catalogue and also the new uh, August to December um, mini catalogue. I just wanted to run through some of the products that I ordered, show you them in person um, so you can see if it's something that you would be interested in. So one of the first things that I ordered um, in this big order um, was one of the new suites and this is the um, playing with pattern suite and this is everything that you get now this suite can be found on pages um, 100 to 102 in the annual catalogue so let's adjust here as you can see um, they have made a single product code for everything in the suite so with this product code you will get both the stamp set um, and die bundle, the mini paper pumpkin boxes, the resin dots and the designer series paper. And as you can see this is a really fun suite, it's full of lots of bright fun colours, um, lots of different patterns and textures. The stamp set that comes with this is predominantly patterns, um, not really a lot of sentiments, just these two in here. Really the sentiments come from the fact that you can use these dies that cut out any letter or number and a number of different punctuation marks for you as well and sort of make your own sentiments from there. So let me show you through some of the products. So this is the stamp set, the pattern play stamp set and like I said a lot of different textures and patterns in this that you can build up to make fun backgrounds for your cards or different accents. This is the designer series paper and I'll just snip this open so we can have a look inside and this is a um, six inch um, stack as you can see it's not a full 12 inch so it's a lot easier to use much easier to uh, cut up and use on your card fronts or for your projects and in here um, there's a lot of different colors and patterns and textures so if I turn some of these over dots stripes, these sort of watermarked splotches and these would make great backgrounds for cards um, you can use them to make mini boxes, add them to gift tags, use them for scrapbooking there are many many different things that you can do with designer series paper I really love this one, it's sort of almost rainbows or it could be like the sea And this is a, a fairly um, neutral pack of paper as well, it's not floral, um, so it would work for both cards for children, it would work for cards for women, it would work for masculine cards very nicely. There's a lot of um, colours in here that really don't scream sort of female cards at me, so it's a very versatile pack. The other things that you get in the suite are these gorgeous um, enamel dots, and these are almost matte, they're not too shiny. Um, and they come in these three colours that coordinate with the designer series paper as well. The dies then are the Playful Alphabet dies. I'll just pop these open. As you can see, this is literally the first time I'm opening these products. I've not even looked at them myself yet. So here are the dies, and as you can see, you have um, all of the letters of the alphabet, you actually have some multiples of some of them as well to make it easier and faster to cut them out. You also have then um, numbers, so 0 to 9, and a load of different punctuation marks as well, all through here. So you can make pretty much any sentiment that you want for the front of your card or tag. Um, you can cut out pieces um, for a scrapbook page title. There are many, many different things that you can do with these dies. There's also a ribbon pack as part of the suite, and this is a combo pack, so you get all three of these rolls of ribbon together. Um, so you have a gorgeous um, dark blue, so this is um, Night of Navy, I believe, in this one. Um, a nice sort of bright turquoise, and then a lilac colour as well in a sheer ribbon. And then the last thing in the suite bundle are these mini paper pumpkin boxes. 
And these are just very cute small boxes that you could use as a gift box. And you can decorate the outside and pop presents in. So they make a rectangular box. You can see this is the size the box is going to be once you fold it all together. And it is lidded, it's self-lidded, um, so it seals itself. Um, and if I just pop back to the catalogue, I can show you better in there how these look. So you can see here, um, they've actually coloured the box. There are a number of different ways that you can do that. And it's something that I will be going through in a project going forward shortly. Um, there's another one over here that's been decorated just with some of the designer series paper um, and cut out letters from the dies. Um, and here you can see they've made a small gift bag with some of the designer series papers. There really is a lot of different options with this suite and it's one that I have had my eye on since this catalogue was launched. Okay, moving on then. Um, the next thing that I bought and one of the things that I always sort of keep my eye on whenever there is a new catalogue is the birthday options now. As I'm sure, you know, the same for most people, birthdays are one of the things that I, birthday cards, sorry, are one of the types of cards that I make probably more than any other. Yeah, it's the type of card that I need month in, month out, and I'm always on the lookout for fun new birthday sets. So I thought this one really fit the bill. This is the Happiest of Birthdays stamp set, and this is on page 103. Um, in the annual catalogue, so it's actually just following on from the Playing With Patterns suite. Now, as you can see, the sentiments in this set are quite big, and I really like this for birthday cards. It makes them incredibly fast to put together. When you have such a large sentiment, all you need is a piece of designer series paper behind it, or even um, some of the patterned or floral stamps. You can make your own background and just pop this onto a piece of Whisper White card in front, and it makes up a really quick and simple birthday card for you. And there's some other samples on here of the other versions of the sentiments in that stamp set. So definitely one I'm going to be using an awful lot over the next couple of months. Um, one of the other things I always like to look for in a catalogue um, is the designer series paper and other paper options. Um, so these can be found on page 153. So these are our paper basics. And even though it says basics, I wouldn't actually call some of these products basic at all. If I just pull them in from here. So I decided to go for the Rainbow Glimmer paper. I mean, who wouldn't look at this paper? It is absolutely gorgeous. So this is one of our Glimmer papers. So it is textured and glittery. If I just pull a sheet out so you can see. And I'm actually going to be using this on a project um, that will be going live on Saturday. Um, so you'll be seeing that very soon. So here is the glimmer paper, so you can actually see the sparkle in all its glory and as you can see it is a full rainbow ombre effect across this page. Now you can use this multiple different ways, you can cut a piece just from one section and sort of single out specific colours. You could cut a strip from one edge so that you get a full ombre rainbow effect on your card. Um, you can cut smaller pieces and stack and use them together. Um, there's a lot of different things that you could do with this and I have a lot of ideas in mind as well. And like I say, this shimmer is gorgeous. It's fairly smooth. It isn't sort of um, spiky. It's quite a soft, smooth glitter. It cuts really nicely um, in your trimmer. It doesn't dull your blades too much in there. It's quite a thick um, weight on this cardstock as well. So it is a heavier weight than our designer series paper, for example. Um, so really versatile again. Lots of different things that you can do with that. The other paper that I picked up this time around is this Forever Gold Laser Cut Specialty Paper. I've had my eye on this for a while and as it is now getting to the point where I'm starting to think of Christmas cards, um, I thought this might be something good to get in. So this comes sandwiched between cardboard because it can be quite delicate. Now, as you can see, one side of this is white. It is all laser cut, um, so it's really precise cuts on these. And if I flip this over, you can see the gold foil side. And these are all individual panels that are already pre-cut for you. And um, so you literally just pop them out of their backing um, layer to use them. Um, these would be gorgeous, layered on the front of cards. Um, you know, a nice 
colour behind it so maybe make a card base in coloured cardstock rather than white and pop this over the front and then maybe a sentiment piece across the front and you have an instant gorgeous card ready to go. There's two different types of designs in here so you've got these sort of um, more card front pieces and then the other one if I can just grab this out of here And there we go, and pop that to one side. So these are sort of die cut embellishments and pieces. And there's a couple of different types on here. So you have these that have a shape in the middle and these would be fantastic for layering with sentiments. Um, so cut out a rectangular piece of cardstock, stamp your sentiment onto it and layer it onto this gold piece that then has these beautiful um, sort of foliage bits behind it. The same with this and the circle here. And then you actually have more pieces that you can pop out and layer onto your card. Um, so I don't know if you can see just how fine this is in the cutting on here. And you have some larger pieces, there's a wreath here, um, a sort of double-sided sprig, some berries, almost looks like a piece of fern in the background there. So lots of really gorgeous elements in this and I cannot wait to start using this on my cards. The other things then, so along with birthday cards, probably the next sort of um, highest number of cards I make would be thank you cards. I send out thank you cards every single month um, to anyone who has placed an order with me. And so this stamp set, massive thanks, is going to be um, very well used very quickly uh, in my craft room. And this can be found on page 78 in the annual catalogue. Uh, there we go. As you can see, this has a lot of different types of thank you sentiments. It doesn't just say thank you. Um, there's a couple of different things on here, all around the theme of thanks. Um, so depending on how you want to say thank you, there's definitely an option in there for you. And then one of the last stamp sets that I got this time around, certainly from the annual catalogue, um, was this, the Ridiculously Awesome stamp set, which is perfectly named. This stamp set is Ridiculously Awesome. And this is from page 90 on the annual catalogue here. Now this stamp set was designed um, by one of my um, Dem well, the other demonstrators with Stamping Up. This was designed by Rhonda Wade. And once you reach a million dollars um, in sales with Stamping Up, you get to have a trip to Stamping Up's office and you get to design a stamp set. And this is the set that she designed. And this was actually done in conjunction with Sean Douglas. Um, now, Sean is the husband of Stamping Up CEO, Sarah Douglas. And he actually hand lettered all of these stamps and the little images that you see on here as well. Went through a number of different iterations to get to this. And there is an amazing video um, that I shall share with you um, through my blog on how this has sort of all come together and the different iterations that went through. But I absolutely love this. The sentiments are nice and big again, so make really good, quick, fun cards. You can see some of the samples down here in the catalog. and I'm very much looking forward to playing with this. The other thing that I picked up this time around um, is some more ribbon. This is the um, 2020 to 2022 in colour ribbon in Misty Moonlight. I've already used the spool that I had before. This is now my second one. Um, if I just pop this open so you can see just how pretty this is. So this is a really nice lightweight ribbon. Um, it almost feels like a chambray cotton, I guess. Um, very nice for bows, um, for ruffling behind projects. And like I said, this is my second spool, so I'm going through this fairly quickly. So that was pretty much everything that I got from the annual catalogue this time around. The rest of the things were from the very recently launched um, August to December mini catalogue. Now, if you don't have a copy of this already, if you haven't received one or you're not currently with a sample demonstrator, do pop me a message below. There is actually a form in the description under this video where you can request your own copy of this catalog and I'll get it straight out into the post for you because I do not want you to miss out on some of the gorgeous things that are in here. So there are a couple of different things that I immediately was drawn to in this catalog. Um, so the first one is on page 18, if I just find that here. And it is this bundle here, the Peace and Joy bundle. Now I have a bit of a thing for fonts. Um, 
one of the first things generally that I look at in a stamp set, other than the sentiments, is the fonts that it is printed in um, and whether it's something that I like and I absolutely love this. I love the stamp set but I also really love the dies and I'm just going to pull those in so you can see them. And these are slightly different to normal um, dies that you would get with a stamp set in that they cut the same word three different times. So if I just pull those out here. So you can see you have the three major words in the stamp set, which are bright, peace, and joy, and they are cut here. Um, very fine, a nice sort of swirly font on those. And then you have these other two dies that go with each of these words, and these cut out different layers that you can actually build up behind the word. So you've got sort of a closer outline piece and then a much larger outline sort of background piece. Like I said, you can layer these together, which you can see sort of a little bit more clearly here in the catalogue. So you've got the um, the word bright and this one, for example, is in a really deep green image and that's probably shaded spruce. And you've got the sort of closer outline um, in whisper white and then you've got that sort of larger outline in the background and I think they layer really nicely together. The stamps and dies do also work so if you stamp these larger sentiment pieces they actually cut out with the second size of the dies um, so not the very thin word ones in here but this version um, over on this side and then you have still the background mat that you can layer behind them and so they do work together. I also really like all of the little sort of embellishments and flourishes that go with this and then the sort of printed um, stamp sentiments in here as well. I think the whole thing works beautifully together and I'm really looking forward to getting into some Christmas card making. I know you may think it's too soon but for a crafter it's never too soon. If you're making all of your hand, uh, Christmas cards by hand you need to get started as soon as possible. The other set that I'm using um, for Christmas is actually the Christmas Gleaming set. Now I don't have this with me because this isn't new. This is actually a returning product from last year and I used this last year and this designer series paper is absolutely stunning and I should just pull that from my shelf one moment. Okay, by the magic of YouTube, here it is in just a couple of seconds. So this is the designer series paper. As you can see, I have two packs. I bought a lot last year because I knew I would use it and I have fully finished one of these. This is what I had left over. And this paper, um, it is so beautiful. It is a specialty paper, which means it isn't a double-sided um, DSP in quite the same way. So one side, as I'm sure you can see on here, has these beautiful gold foil details on the designs. Um, so you have this gorgeous sort of holly boughs on here, the stars, and I can't tell you how many sheets of paper of that I've used. Um, there's this beautiful geometric pattern, which not necessarily Christmas, you could definitely use this sort of more year round. Um, you have these gorgeous baubles on this one. And then this lovely geometric print, which again, not necessarily a Christmassy design. You could absolutely use this um, for other cards around the year. Um, the other side of these papers then um, are still absolutely beautiful. i just pop these over, but they are not foiled. So these are just plain um, printed design series papers. So again, stars, not really specifically Christmassy, you could use that. Um, this is beautiful, the colouring on this is absolutely gorgeous. There are a lot more geometric patterns on these sides of the papers, like so. Uh, what else do we have? There's another sort of more geometric design there, quite a subtle one. And then we have some gorgeous stripes as well. And all of these, I would say, could be used more year round. Um, great for cards for the men in your life, which sometimes can be a little bit more tricky as well. So a really sort of double duty set of designer series paper. Um, some of the things that I did with this last year, obviously I used it on Christmas cards. You know, it's so beautiful, you don't really need to do a lot with it. 
nice piece of designer series paper, a sentiment, and you're pretty much done. One of the other things that I pulled together was I actually made these boxes um, with our now unfortunately retired window box dies, um, but I did these instead of crackers on my Christmas table last year. Um, so I made the box from the designer series paper, as you can see. Um, I've used the Holly um, Sprig, which is actually in the stamp set here. And I coloured these in with blends. And then I just used a couple of um, leaf punches um, to punch out some elements on here and just layered it up, hand wrote everyone's name on there. Um, these actually fit. I had jokes in there, I had Christmas hats, there was a chocolate in there. Um, we did scratch cards last year um, in our Christmas crackers. And these are a much more um, sort of keepsake box perhaps than a cracker so if you want people to have something they can take home with them from your Christmas table it's a, a lovely way to make something um, pretty and sort of keepable as well. Now one of the other elements um, with this set so you've got obviously your stamp set this comes with punches so it's a nice easy set to get started with and the designer series paper but there actually is an item in the annual catalogue that works with this and was released with this last year um, when it was first um, brought out and that is the copper star elements so these are on page 157 um, in the annual catalogue and you can see them just up here and these are just very small um, copper stars they work beautifully with this set because it has all of these copper details in the designer series paper and they work really nicely together one of the next things then that, that I saw that I had to have pretty much as soon as um, I saw this catalogue come out was actually a project kit and I love project kits for tags. I am sure, just like you, um, have quite a few um, younger people in my life that I gift to. Um, I have three godchildren and a niece that I gift to at the moment. I'm always on the need for um, gift tags that are gonna work for them. Not necessarily to coordinate with any specific type of wrapping paper, just something cute and fun that I can pop onto a present or three. And this tag buffet kit is absolutely perfect. So this actually makes 30 gift tags, um, five each of six different designs, which you can see up here. And there is a stamp set that goes with this. So this is a slightly different project kit um, to the Simply Citrus kit that I showed you recently. This isn't an all-inclusive kit, it does have a separate stamp set. Um, but this stamp set on its own would be gorgeous. Certainly if you bought this to make the um, gift tags, you could absolutely use this for your Christmas cards as well. There are some nice big sentiments on here. Um, a great sentiment that could go in the middle of your card, um, sort of as the verse or phrase that you put in the centre. Um, there's some nice images as well on here. Here. and you've also got the to and from so you can make your own additional gift tags once you've used up the kit. The kit itself then um, comes in this box so when you first receive it you just pop this open. And then inside in the plastic keep it protected is this absolutely gorgeous paper pumpkin box. Now, this is very similar to the um, mini um, paper pumpkin boxes that come with the playing with patterns suite that I showed you earlier. So this sort of unfolds at the front, um, the edges are tucked in. Oh, it doesn't, sorry, my mistake, it comes this way. Um, so this, um, as you can see, this box on its own would make a beautiful gift. So once you've made your gift tags, you can pop something into here, tie it up with some gorgeous ribbon, stick one of the tags on it and you have a gift ready to go. And the project kit, um, as always with Stampin' Project Kits, comes with pretty much everything that you need other than the stamp set and some ink um, to assemble. So you can see all of the um, die cut pieces for your tags, the different elements on here. There's also some gold twine. And I will be going through this kit further in depth later on in another video. So that is the tag buffet kit. Then I have a couple of standalone um, stamp sets that I've bought. Um, the first one is actually from the annual catalogue, um, the Itty Bitty Christmas. Um, this is on page 62 of your annual catalogue. And this is just a number of different smaller sentiments that are perfect for adding to um, gift tags and labels. So if you need um, sort of smaller tags for things, you can build up your card fronts with these. I recently did a card with the um, Many Mates stamp set and the Itty Bitty Birthday, so the birthday version 
version of this scent where I use a lot of different um, sentiments um, in the background of a card or sort of one major sentiment over the front. So really versatile again to use that one. And then when I saw this set um, in the catalogue, I was pretty much drawn um, straight to this sentiment. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. I don't know if it's just me, but this reminds me very much of um, one of my favourite Christmas films, The Grinch. And I'm pretty sure that all of these um, sentiments are from the Grinch films. You've got um, the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Uh, every time a bell rings an angel gets its wings and then the I believe sentiment as well and I think all of these together are just really lovely. Um, again nice big sentiment pieces. Um, you can see the stamps in the back here. They are fairly large sentiments. So as you can see on one of the samples in the catalogue um, all you need is just maybe a couple of strips of designer series paper in the background and your sentiment in the front and you have a really quick, really lovely Christmas card. And they've sort of shown the three different versions of this card as well in what we call a step it up um, system. So this would be the first sort of more basic version. This one is slightly um, more in depth with your die cut piece and so on added on. And then this one is even more with your embossed piece behind. Um, more die cuts and some water colouring going on here. So you can take a stamp set like this and make beautiful simple cards. Or if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can try making something a little bit more complex as well. There was one other um, sort of stamp set that I got this time around um, and this is actually all the way on page 65 um, in the catalog and this is called the Banner Year Bundle. So this is actually um, a stamp set and punch bundle this time around and this one as you can see is not just Christmas related. Um, there's a lot of different um, sort of occasions that you could cover using this. So we've got Thanksgiving. We don't necessarily celebrate Thanksgiving here in the UK um, but I certainly have family in America um, so that's going to be great for me. Um, you've got obviously your or sweet that could work really any time of the year guess who loves you maybe for valentine's day projects with a grateful heart again whilst we don't celebrate thanksgiving um you know when are you not grateful for something someone has done a nice little thank you card could come from that there are some halloween pieces in here um some christmasy pieces so it works really nicely all year round and all of the different sort of images in here again very seasonal You've got your pumpkin, a little Santa hat, you've got a bat, a little bird, which really could be any time, um, your love hearts and letters, a squirrel, acorns, lots of different things with that one. And the punch that comes with this um, may look a bit familiar. This is very similar to the lovely label sticker punch that I've been using pretty much non-stop in projects recently. Um, this is the Banners Pick a Punch, so a very similar um, idea. You have two channels, two different types of punch. You can have either a notched in banner or a notched out banner and you can layer them together um, to sort of build your sentiments up on your project. So really looking forward to crafting with this one. One of the last things that I got then um, is some embellishments um, to go with my projects this year. And a lot of these, um, in fact all of them, can be found in the index if you have missed any throughout the pages of the catalogue. And the index itself starts on page 76 of this mini catalogue and actually shows you everything that is available. So it's a really good way to find what you're looking for. So first of all you have all of the different stamp sets that are available in the catalogue. It then shows you um, each of the punches up here and then your different um, die sets. All of the embossing folders are down here. And then on page 78 um, you then have your kits, all of the different ribbon and trim, accents and embellishments and different packaging options that are in here. And then you have your designer series paper and other paper options as well. So um, like I say, this is a really good way to find um, things. If you have missed anything on the pages of the catalogue, uh, you might find yourself being surprised from this. So the first um, ribbon pack that I got is actually this Wonder of the Season ribbon combo pack. And um, so you get two rolls of ribbon with this set. 
Um, the first one is in shaded spruce. It's this gorgeous wide um, stitched ribbon here. Um, so you can actually see this is fully stitched. It is showing through on both sides and is textured. The other pack then, oh sorry, the other spool of ribbon is this beautiful gold um, cord. It's quite a chunky um, corded ribbon. Let me just grab this off so I can show you. And this would make um, great hangers for gift tags. Um, you can tie some fantastic bows with this. It would be nice and chunky. There you go. You can see it's quite a thick um, sort of cord. It's not a fine rope on there. So another really nice one for Christmas projects. Um, the next ribbon that I got then is this embroidered ribbon on here. And as you can see, this is a gorgeous neutral ribbon. Doesn't necessarily scream Christmas. Um, there's certainly a lot of different things that you could be doing with this. Um, it has this nice double stitching um, down both sides and it's just a really nice sort of pale creamy colour. Definitely going to be getting a lot of use out of that. And the last ribbon that I got um, is a very simple one, the Real Red Sheer Ribbon. You can't go wrong with a bit of red ribbon at Christmas um, and this one is particularly pretty. Um, it is a sheer ribbon. I can actually get into it to cut the plastic off. There we go. Um, so there you go. You can see it's a sheer ribbon with the stitching down either side. Um, really nice and lightweight would make perfect um, bows um, or loops behind projects. You could absolutely use this for tags as well. Lots of different things that you can do with that one. I then had a couple of um, embellishments that I absolutely had to have. These wonderful gems um, are absolutely, well, wonderful, I would say. Um, they're really, really pretty, and I don't think it really shows in the catalogue just how pretty these are. So I'm gonna see if I can get this to focus on these for you. They are faceted, um, and you have two different sizes of the gems on here. So you can see you've got these smaller ones and large ones. They come in red and clear, but they actually have glitter encased in the sort of um, resin that they're made from. Um, so this glitter in the red one, um, it's almost holographic I would say. It's kind of flashing blue and green at me as I'm moving it here. And then this is sort of like a gold holographic glitter in the clear side. So again, it's got a, more of a gold base but it's flashing green and red and yellow at me as I move that on there. I hope you can see this on the camera. I'm not sure how well this is picking up, but I thought these were really gorgeous. Definitely a nice way to accent projects going forwards. And the last thing that I got was the sequins for everything pack. Now these are um, not your average sequins. They don't have any holes in the middle. Um, like the normal sequins that we sell do, as you can see, they are fully enclosed. They come in four different colorways. I guess you can use them seasonally, but again, you could use these for a lot of different projects. They're not necessarily Christmas or autumn or whatever. Um, they have sort of flat round, um, there are more sort of shaped sequins, and then we also have these um, sort of hexagonal pieces as well. So you've got a gold and white mix up there, a sort of more orangey mix, a green mix, and a red and pink mix. And I think these are absolutely gorgeous. Cannot wait to use these. And I've seen some very good tips on storing um, these sequins as well. Um, I and some other demonstrators have said that possibly pulling this lid off may not be the easiest way to use these. I can fully see trying to pull that off and just sequins flying everywhere. So if you take a craft knife and just cut open this sort of um, part on the top of here and you can pour your sequins into a, just a, a Ziploc bag. So any of the Ziploc bags that the ribbon comes in or anything like that, um, pour them in there to keep them safely um, separated, ready to use on your project. The very last thing that I got in this order, um, which as you can see was quite a big order, was something that on first flick through of the catalogue I actually missed. I didn't spot this. Um, it is on page, let me see if I can find this, page 41. And if you miss it on your first flick through, you would be forgiven. It is this gorgeous card display that is just down here. Now I'm not going to be able to show you all of this, it is pretty big as you can see. 
Now it's a black metal card display. Um, it comes flat, as you can see, um, and it has the hinge pieces and feet so you can stand it up. And it also comes with these gold um, sort of bulldog clips so you can clip your cards to it. And um, I'm very much looking forward to getting this set up in my craft room. It's going to be going on the mantelpiece behind where I craft. Um, so I can have a nice display of all of the cards I've made and received recently. So that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this whirlwind tour through the recent products that I purchased and also inside the catalogue as well if you haven't seen them yet. As I said, if you do need a catalogue, if you don't already have your own copies, please do use the link in the description below. I will absolutely get those out into the post for you straight away. I have more catalogues that were delivered with this order as well because I had run out already um, and I cannot wait to get a copy out to you so you can start enjoying all of the gorgeousness that is contained inside as well. Any of the products listed are available through my Stamping Up store. I'll pop a link to my store in the description box below so you can go and browse that for yourself. If you have any questions about any of the products that I've shown or anything to do with Stamping Up or any comments, I am always happy to read and respond to those, so do pop those below for me as well. If you are enjoying the content that I'm producing on my channel, I would be really grateful if you would pop this video a like, maybe subscribe to the channel and then you'll see all of the new projects as they come live on um, YouTube going forwards. I hope you have a really great day um, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.